I'm going to practice decision making with Wright Patterson Mahjong. In this exercise, I'm going to test my speed. You might wonder, well, why does speed matter? And I think that there's two answers to that. One is if you play in a group and you spend too much time navigating that book and trying to figure out what to do, that could maybe annoy your opponents a little bit. And if you practice with quick decision making, it might desensitize yourself from making a mistake or maybe force you to learn the book. So those are a couple, a couple reasons for uh, playing in a regular game. But the other reason I like to do it is for tournament play, because I, when you play in a tournament, you play on a clock and you have to play in like 12 to 15 minute games. And if you make quick decisions, you free yourself up for the pick and discard phase of the game and give yourself a little more time. Now, you are kind of dependent on the other players at the table, but if you make quick decisions, they may appreciate that because it'll give them more time too for that pick and discard phase of the game. If you play in tournaments, let me know if you find that this helps you. And also, if you just play in private games, it could help you too. Let me know if you do try it, how it helps you. Just write in the comments section your thoughts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out. They have been mixed. I've got also my smartphone here. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be um, the sprints, and then laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. Really a minute and a half, I think, would be good. So let's see how it goes. We'll just say we're the dealer for these, so I'll get 14 random tiles. And then I'll create a mock Charleston. Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a four, so that would be north. Here we go. I'm thinking cracks. Look at all these cracks and honors. Let's pass these three. No cracks. Bummer. Okay, that happens sometimes. Let's pass these three. There's an honor. And we have tiles we can pass, so we don't need to pick a hand. Not yet. There's a crack. And we have two tiles to pass. Okay. So I think if I were to pick a hand, we have two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One pair. I'm thinking news lineup. Let me read that to you. News lineup is a sequenced hand. That is on page 18. News with one win paired, we got a north here paired, and then a sequence of one to nine in one suit. So we wouldn't need that, and we wouldn't need that. So there's four discards. We need a one crack, five crack, nine crack, and a south. I think I'd feel better with fewer discards. So I don't know if there would have been a better choice Maybe a date hand with news. Maybe a transition hand would have been better. I don't remember what we had. Okay, live and learn. Let's move on to the next sprint. I rolled a four, that was a two on there. So, north is prevailing. Here we go. Okay, I'm thinking cracks again. Look at all these cracks. Four, seven. Let's keep the four. Maybe we could do double numbers if we get another four, seven. So let's pass two, nine, six. 
right here. There's a crack. Yeah, I don't think the double number really came in. We did get an honor. I always like to keep honors with one suit. Let's pass these three. Cracks. Oh, nice. Okay, now we need to make a choice. So two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to use these, so let's let's pass them. Okay, we're going to lap. Now we ended up with four discards, but we have a really nice sequence here. We could play Pung Chow, Chow, Potential Chow, Pair, or two Potential Chows. Seven, eight, nine, Potential Chow here, six, seven, eight pair of fours, two, three, four. So yeah, there's some nice um, chow potential for Pung Chow, four discards. I think that was pretty successful. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section. This would be sprint two. We're gonna do one more. Okay, last one. Okay, we have East, three, five, three, five, three, five. I'm thinking we could maybe play, oh, three, five. I was thinking little one, five, seven, nine, but we've got threes, threes. Oh no, threes. East, a pair of East, three, three, five. I'm thinking maybe double numbers. Let's keep threes and fives. Let's see if we can do a number hand and pass these three. Let's try a number hand. Double number, try number. Oh, and we got a seven and an eight and a one. Let's keep the ones and twos. Oh, two, three, three, five. Let's give up. Let's give up a five because maybe we could switch to little chows. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Seven, eight, nine. Oh no, no, that's not good. One, two, three, east, green. I'm gonna break that up. I don't wanna pass that. Two, three, I would break this up. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a south and an eight and a six. Oh, this was horrible. Oh, we're done. Oh my goodness, this one was terrible. Let's just kind of see if we can recover. Recover maybe with cracks. Oh, no, no, this is not good. Okay, so look at this. Oof, that was a terrible Charleston. So we have a pair of east, a south, a pair of threes. I think because we have a pair in the dots, I think that I would play dots with honors and get rid of get rid of the bams first. And then that way, if we draw cracks, we can switch to honors with cracks. If we draw dots, we can go ahead and get rid of these. But this is really not good. This may be a defense hand, Sometimes if you don't do well and you can't recover during the pick and discard phase of the game, just play defense and try to sabotage your opponent's hands in a nice way, of course. Be kind, but sabotage their hand. You can have a friendly game and still be competitive. I'm just looking at date hands to see if we can do anything with the, those Easts, but I don't think so. And we really don't have any other terminals or honors to work with. So yeah, that's what I would do here. Dots and honors probably. Yikes. Okay, let's stop this and see how timing went. I think I made it under the two minutes or one, even one minute 30. We'll double check. But that last sprint was horrible. Horrible results. The other two were okay. So keep in mind when you're looking at your time, 
compare that to the number of discards. So like the time I took on that last one and then the number of discards that I had, that was really horrible. Uh, maybe I should have spent more time trying to figure out a better hand to play. So yeah, that was not good. Sprint one was 54 seconds. Sprint two was one minute 17. Sprint three was one minute 50. Yeah, that was a difficult one. So, uh, I definitely made it under the one minute 30 second guideline for myself. If you're a beginner, give yourself maybe three minutes. If you're intermediate, give yourself two minutes. And then let's say if you're advanced, a minute 30. If you don't think those guidelines are good, let me know. I'm kind of thinking those are pretty good guidelines. Maybe you could do two minutes for advanced, three minutes for intermediate, four minutes for beginners. Because it is when you start learning all the different hands in that book, there are 80 hands to learn. So you might need a little more time, but the more you play, the better you get. The more you learn the different hands, you can cut down your time and improve your decision-making speed. If you have a set at home, try it and let me know if it helps your confidence and if it helps you learn the different hands in the book. That's the whole purpose of that exercise. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.